in terms of getting out of office uh, blood pressures. Yeah. Well, Let's compare. Say, I'm, gonna take the I'm gonna turn the radio down because I I once heard that people don't like hearing too much background noise unless it's Christmas music, of course. If it's Christmas music, you can jam the blaster. Gerald, I just wanted to compare real quick what you ate for lunch compared to what I ate for lunch and what we think the difference is and why. So let's start with you. What did you eat? Okay, so, I mean, we, we're trying to talk about where we ate. Doesn't we matter. ate at Wendy's. You can just name items. Wendy's. So I got a junior bacon cheeseburger. I hadn't gone to Wendy's okay. for, I think, I don't know, three months probably. Oh, wow, okay. All right, there. Okay, you had a junior bacon cheeseburger. Junior bacon cheeseburger. Which is a solo patty. Uh, I had a medium fries and a medium chocolate frosty. Okay. And, and, I, and I also had like a, a water. Okay. That counts as zero because water is nothing. Right? I, I think that uh, I, had, I had considerably less than you did. Yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah. I ordered a four-piece chicken tender meal, which came with french fries, and then I also was like, hey, I won a double stack, so I got that, and then I was two like, patties. Then, that's two patties, and then I was like, I also want some chili, so I got that, and then I proceeded to eat all that, and then when I was done, I was like, hey, Gerald had a frosty and I didn't. And I'm still feeling like I could jam something more in. <laughs> it's hard to say I was hungry. So, <laughs> so you also then got a medium chocolate frosty. Yeah, there it is. And I, I don't regret it right now. You don't regret any of those things. No. I didn't eat any I just breakfast. Wanna, I want to try to eat more healthy. Um, I mean, for sure, eating at Wendy's is like not should, a healthy option. Should have we started by going to Wendy's? Right now. Oh, okay. We could have gone somewhere different, Gerald. No reason to doubt women who have accused more sexual misconduct. Okay. This, okay. Driving more aggressive than normal. Does it have to do anything with not having to, having eaten enough for lunch? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think a, like a medium chocolate frosty just in itself is. It's pretty filling. It is? Yeah, I think so. Huh. So you wouldn't say that you're driving erratically due to hunger? No. Definitely not. Right, I would not say that. Okay. Do you have a reason why you were driving erratically? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, sometimes I think maybe I'm in, like, some sort of Inception dream world. I, yeah. Yeah. Who would be doing the Inception? I'm not sure. That's a good question. That is a good question. If anyone out there knows who's doing the incepting into this guy, <laughs> let us know. Out of our millions of viewers, probably one of them knows. Maybe one yeah. of them is doing the incepting. I gotta raise my uh, expectations. My my defensive mechanism oh. skills. Yeah, you can fight off the inception. Right. You have like this personal like. Secure, Space bubble. Security team, defensive team. Wait, are you hiring? I gotta, I gotta do better. No, you like train, train those guys in your head. Oh. Like a glory bubble? No. Does that have anything to do with a glory bubble? Maybe, maybe it does. It does. It does. He's right. I'm right. Do you think that any of our millions of viewers work for UGI? Maybe. Yeah. Can, you, can we get some? Some guests turned on? Yeah, so I I was very upset this morning, as Gerald knows, because I, I, at one point I told Gerald, don't mess with me, I'm pissed off right now. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. One of the major things I was pissed off at was UGI, and I once got put on like a list by UGI, <laughs> where I was like a disgruntled oh, customer, until like one time when I called in, then they were like, hey, it says here in our account, in our files that... You were angry last time you <laughs> called in. <laughs> but so, now, t yesterday, I tried to get UGI to turn on the gas at a property. Can you tell this story faster? Yeah, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I mean, I didn't start yet. But 
so the guy came out and he was like sticking his little pipe down the little UGI hole <laughs> and and he was just failing and so now today my plan was to have heat on what you're so bo what that whole thing I have to push the record the video button and then push record unfortunately oh so we went through that whole thing and we yeah did. go ahead finish it up real quick all right well First, you had this UGI guy out on the street. Yeah, he came and he was going to, so he was going to turn on my gas, so he stuck his UGI tool down his UGI hole and like turned for what I thought was in, not long enough. Like he tried for maybe like two or three minutes. He, he gave up too quickly. Right. He unsuccessfully, he was unsuccessful at turning on the valve, uh, but I think he didn't try long enough, like as I said. He only tried for like two or three minutes. I think that I would have tried for. He needed to contact somebody else to get yeah, involved because he, he couldn't turn it on. Yeah, he's going to contact the roads department. So now we don't have heat in this house. Yeah, I don't have heat. And we need to have heat in this house. Yeah, we need heat. It's getting yeah. cold. And so. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so I actually recorded footage of him failing at turning it on and then also failing at getting into his vehicle. But. We didn't post that because we felt sad for him. We're not trying to make people look bad. No. Most but, of the time. But if anyone should look bad, 